So we just landed in Oslo and we're pretty tired because we had a great experience going through the security in Copenhagen. Basically, they forced us to um, only bring a very small amount of liquids in this tiny Ziploc bag, which didn't fit my body wash or really anything. So now I have to buy body wash here and probably oh some God. other stuff too. And <laughs> it's ridiculous. How much did we pay for our tickets to take the bus? Oh my goodness. About 30 euros, I think. It's actually insane. Yeah. Like I think I'm having an anxi anxiety attack because of it. I'm not even kidding. Well, like a panic attack, I should say. Check out what happened in the middle of the night with our bed. It literally fell through when Julia was sleeping, and she almost fell and died. So <laughs> So now she's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Oslo. We feel very welcomed here. So it's our first day in Oslo and we just got here to the center of the city, just walking around a bit. climbed up on this roof of this building and it's super white here and the sun is shining still blindingly and there's a ton of people but it's really gorgeous like the view is really beautiful from here later in the day we've got coffee and uh, we're gonna try to find our way back home because there's really not that much to do out here like a lot of places are closed for some reason and I mean also the center itself is pretty small I would say yeah it's so. not it's very different from places like Paris and Berlin where you there's just so many things that you gotta like do yeah, it's true. Over the few days. So we're just taking it easy. So we're on our way to the cemetery to see the grave of Hedvard Munch, the painter of the very famous Scream. And we're literally walking up this ginormous hill and I'm so out of breath and so out of shape. We're at the cemetery now and we're like the only people here and we're just looking for um, Edward Munch. There's all these like birds just everywhere and it's so creepy, I just love it here. So I'm super disappointed because we couldn't find the grave of um, Edward Munch and we went through the whole cemetery, like literally up and down the aisles looking for his grave, couldn't find anything, so I guess we're just gonna leave because I don't know it feels really awkward walking around there's people going to their loved ones and like putting down flowers and candles and I just feel super awkward like looking around and like looking at names on the graves and so uh, yeah I think we're just gonna call it a day with the cemetery yeah, uh... We just came to another part of the cemetery, I guess. It's kind of in a different location, but it's very close. 
So I'm hoping that the grave is actually here. So I've literally gone through like pretty much most of the cemetery again and I could not find the grave for the life of me. I don't know where it is. Just, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna give up because <laughs> I can't spend the entire day just walking around the cemetery looking for this one grave like some creep. So, <laughs> yeah. There's Edward Munch in D. And we're at the Red Star. Guess who we finally found? The one, the only, Edward Munch. And we spent like an hour and a half just walking around, like literally jogging around this damn cemetery just for this. So it's a bit later in the day and uh, I'm just editing the video in the Airbnb and I noticed that I have no real ending. So this is me saying bye bye Oslo. Um, we're gonna pack our bags and leave tomorrow morning and uh, I'll see you in Krakow.